Hello, this is Josh Spicer from GameWisdom.com. Hope you enjoy this video. Hello, this is Josh Spicer from GameWisdom.com. Welcome to a play of Let It Die. This is the free-to-play roguelike from Grasshopper Manufacturer, aka the studio from Suda51, the guys behind Killer7, Killer is Dead, and a lot more. I'm going to have to probably lower my sound, if there's any indication. But, we'll see what's going on. You can see what's happening actually right now, as the game won't let you do it until you get in. Let it die! There we go. Yeah, I'm going to lower the sound just a little bit. My headset, the speakers are so <laughs> much more powerful than everything else. I already got past the very early parts of the game. I'm still not quite sure what to make of it. It is a free-to-play roguelike, but it definitely has some fun pain elements to it to try and get you to spend money. That is Uncle Death down there. I'm still getting used to streaming and recording on the PlayStation 4, so we'll see how things go. So this is my character here. So you basically have essentially just like living uh, flesh dolls in a sense <laughs> that are your characters. Alright, before I forget... Okay, I got some mail. Huh. Apparently there's a problem. Let's see, we are live. So, the different characters in the game come in different classes. This is a striker who I unlocked by getting to, I think, the fifth floor. They have stronger close range attacks compared to the other ones. Here's my stock. Oh, he just finished going out to attack people. So there's one. There's number two. So I'm gonna send her out. You basically send people to other games. But first I just wanna drop some stuff off. And yes, this is a Sua 51 game, so expect a lot of weird stuff. Oh, it's you. Back. Come back anytime. Alright, I'll take her. You can see the plug marks on the back and back of the leg, back of the spine as well, where they get plugged into things. <laughs> All right, so what I want to do is... I want to send her to go after another player. Now she's going to hunt another player, and hopefully I'll be able to get some rewards. Let me get my rewards. These death medals are very important. They are the premium currency. Oh, got a comment. 
Sorry about this. I'm still trying to make some sense out of <laughs> the broadcast settings. How the heck do I view comments? Is this it? Oh, okay. Oh. Hi, Ethron. Alright, since we have people on... I'll put this on just to see how things go. Yes, this is free to play. Do I need to take? All right, I got another decal. Oh, how I have been waiting for you! <laughs> Hello, Lever and Power Mushroom. Can't afford that. Without mushrooms, there is no glory. There is nothing. There's no love. Nothing makes sense. Over here, we can level up. And this is sort of like my daily item. That's kind of like the free-to-play aspect of the game. And we check the map. I need to get back. We go to Takagara. No, I've already been there. I have to go up to... Mocha Magoon. I'm pretty sure I just mispronounced that. I need to find my way. Get there, I need to go there and go while I'm trying to find the exit to the um to the boss fire. Now the game is not procedurally generated, by the way. All the levels are fixed positions. Now I'm starting back at the first level because I need to get her some experience and you get it by killing enemies and eating food. I'm straight to the fourth and fifth floor without at least a little bit more protection. While we're going up there, I want to try testing some things. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to try enable comments of speech. I'm going to lower this down. I know this can be a little bit troublesome, but we'll see what happens. There we go. I figure it's for the screen, for the footage, it's probably better to keep the full screen like this. You can see my heart pumping there. That's kind of like my stamina system. What do we have? I can pick up beasts or these animals here. That's a quest over there on the right. And all my gear, I'm gonna find some of the basically out of treasure and off of enemies. One second, this is still very loud.
sorry about these uh, stops here and there. I'm still really getting used to uh, the whole streaming on the console. All right, let's go with that. And I know we got a comment. Maybe I can get this. Hopefully, I get this stray on before we get Bloodborne. Oh. <laughs> That's okay, right? Alright. Hey. I need these things as they are going to be my health. Alright, these are some of the actual enemies. Combat is very floaty in this game. You get hit one time, you get caught in the combo like that. And your weapon uh, masteries are shared between all your characters. Yeah. That is trouble up there. Somebody's hunting me. If I can kill her, it's good experience. Don't want her all the way as I will get stuck. Now let me check my map. I need to head up. Let's see, I took a dory. I've been there, but I also need to go up to Mocha Magomi for the boss. Wait, when did that open up? Basically, the boss fight is the actual key or the switch of the boss is hidden on one of those floors. I'm going the right way. I'll take that. And if you eat this mushroom, it will kill you. Hmm. Now you head to the elevator, I can level her up. And then maybe go after one of the mini bosses. You also could find her some clothing or armor. Oh, I'm at my limit here. This is one of the big issues with the game player. You really cannot fight more than one enemy at a time. It's very easy to get stun locked. Finish her. That was a core task that you use when enemies are stunned. I'm trying to find the elevator. Oh. Uh oh. I don't want him to see me. You get more rewards for killing enemies that way. Because she's a brawler class, she has a lot more in close range. Boxes are usually randomly generated. We got pants. I 
should be coming to the elevator. Oh, one other thing. The elevators, there's always two elevators. The fancy looking one can only be accessed if you subscribe using the uh, free to play or the premium currency. This one costs me money to use. From what I heard, the, f the shop will have more things to buy with premium currency in the coming days. Okay, so I want to go... Probably up to the mini-boss. Right there. And then go down. I'm still pretty early. I think I'm almost finished with the first sector of the game. Whenever you come back, this happens. This guy takes all my money. This is a Suda 51 game, <laughs> as you can probably tell. Got a little bit more stamina, got some more health. I'm sure you're gonna be able to upgrade this though. This is where my money and my uh, soul currency are located. So now I'm gonna take the elevator. Because it costs me money to use it each time. Can't go there. Go up. Hmm. That must have become open after I got to a certain point. But it does show things off. We're going to attempt the boss. Or the mini boss, I think. All the weapons in the game have durability, and they, or I'm sorry, all the gear has durability and will break if you get hit or you're using your weapons. Which is why I spend so much time leveling up my fists. Brawler, so I do have an advantage here. Oh, it's very easy to lose health in this game. Is this the right way? I already went down, so I'm looking for both paths up. Yeah. That takes me down. I'm good until my heart starts flashing purple like that. Yeah, I gotta be really careful not to uh, pull more than one guy. That's a 
two-hand weapon. Once they start attacking, ooh, I can knock them out of the animation. But I'll take it. Platforming is somewhat loose. All right, here we go. Come on. the way to the mini boss. Oh. Hey buddy. Yeah. Hmm. You can see the difference in stats down there. I'll hold into these pants in case we need to switch into them. I haven't been to this floor yet, so this is... Oh, no, wait, I think I've been here once, but I didn't explore the whole area. I know I've been there. Wait, did I come from another way? Yes, I came from... I got Dory. I need to find the way... forward. Again, you can see, once they start doing that swing, you really can't stop them. Health will regenerate on its own. But you can also eat food for a quicker burst. Plus, if we die, I have enough money to basically buy her back without having to go and hunt for the body. What are you gonna do? Oh. Whoever gets the first hit off will have the advantage. Dumbbell sign that you're seeing at the bottom of the screen. That's the decal that I have on her. That basically gives them special passes. It gives her more damage. This is poison right here. I 
think in terms of just raw ability, I'm ahead of the curve here. Here's those uh, fun pain mechanics in action. I can't take more money than what my total is, and I can't even upgrade her further because of it. Now then, there's gotta be the exit around here somewhere. Over here. If I walk into that poison cloud, I'll become infected. It'll be down there. Over here should be, I think, another escalator? Yes. And that's the one that takes me right there. Enemies will respawn if you leave a floor. That. All right, I've been here, I remember that. The environments are very nondescript, at least in this early stage. Looks like I missed something, maybe. No, it's back this way. Right here. And then over here. Yep, there's still enemies. I guess it's gotta be over here then. have the blueprint, so I don't need to grab it again. If I upgrade her stamina, she'll get winded in longer periods. This is new. I think we're about to fight a boss. Am I happy with this? Oh boy. What in the hell is that? I got nothing there, folks. Whoa! Huh. Oh. There's 
one less I learned from Dark Souls. Don't let your stamina run out. How was that? Ah, uh, yes, this is where the premium currency comes in. This time too. So, what do you think about our insurance offer now? So, what's happening here is I can choose to spend my premium currency to bring myself back to life, or I let her die and I have to try and recover the corpse. Oh. Your decision today will surely lead to a bright future for you. Now then, let's. And we're back. Alright, so she can't do anything. In close range. coming down. Because I beat her, it unlocks those areas. Oh. Okay, so that's the way up. Oh! Oh! Nope. Not 
I'm going to waste a death metal on that. The boss is dead, though. We won't have to deal with her again. I have more than enough money that I can simply bring her back. I saw we got some new mail, too. Yeah, as you can see, combat is very floaty in the game. Once you get stuck in an animation, it's very easy to get pummeled if you miss, or if you get surrounded or whatever. Because I have so much money, I'm just going to have them bring her back. how you unlock new items for this store. Nothing goes wrong under my watch. This will make it better. Come back anytime. Go back to Hidakadori then. Actually, let's just go straight up and see what we can find. Don't we'll forget. So with that boss, or the mini boss defeated... Oh, I'll show you the masteries once we get back to the main game. So that's one of the weird things about the fun pain. Because I don't have enough uh, room to carry more money, I can't use the mushroom stew option, which lets me unlock the permanent decal. So we'll head straight up. I uh, hope head back down there. level. It's going to be a lot easier. Deal with 
these guys. There we go, we can wear some pants. Alright, so we come over here. This is the, these are the stats for all the weapon types in Let It Die. As you go up in rank, it unlocks new bonuses and abilities for those weapons. So you can see at level 6 I unlocked another attack. Ah. Wait, I'll turn at combo level 3? I'm not sure what the combo levels are. I have a feeling I'm going the wrong way. Uh-oh. Now, those guys will attack the haters, or the hunters. Sometimes, at least. Yoga healing. You heal your character by using the power of yoga. Goodbye. Can we get to the full amount? I might as well just keep getting gold. Boys and girls, I guess you're going to see this again. Do that vomit attack on me again? Not fair. Nice one, Senpai. Now that's what I call fucking entertaining. Before I kill myself again, let's make our way out here. Ah, uh, so this is the first way. I can't do that until I kill another boss. 
And this must be way number two. Can I carry any more pants on me? Yes. Ugh, so that means if I want to go that other route, I'll have to fight that boss again when the time comes. I will most likely have to go back to Hideadori. I'm sorry I'm mispronouncing all these names. At some point to get to that room. Quest. Now what? Again, don't want to hit those mushrooms if I can help it. Oh, and there's a new enemy. Just to be on the safe side, I better heal. What the? Again, my fists are so powerful. Thanks to leveling up and this character. Come on. Those are more poison. I wonder if they get affected by it. I'm actually not sure. Just in case, right? I'm also on lookout for a stamp machine for a special mini game. So if anyone sees something like that, let me know. Ugh. Hey, buddy. This could be bad. I suppose it wouldn't be a roguelike if there weren't death traps around. Good, another thing to watch out for. That looks like we're going to be near an elevator. Usually when you see that, that's a good sign. Oh. Only the last hit on enemy gives you experience. I don't need deadly poison right now. Okay. 
There we go. You hear something? One more iron kill should give me the upgrade. Oh boy. Another hunter is on my case. in that way just yet. This must be the other route. I would really like to find some food. Food or an elevator would be good. You see him, right? Power's going up. Oh, rats. Rats are worth more food. Hey. I'll take that. Alright, where are we going next? back from another side to get there. Mm -mm. Did I unlock something new? Ah, more fighters. Those are the jackals. They are body collectors. I wouldn't get in their way if I were you. I know, I know. They got coolers and equipment. Good luck trying to get it off them. I got a feeling I'm gonna have to fight them at some point. That. 
that a scorpion? I have way too much stuff, don't I? And the only way to improve your inventory is to spend death medals or um, get the subscription. Let me show you what yoga healing does. <laughs> Alright, buddy. That's a new one, too. I'm afraid of what's gonna happen. If I can get close enough. That's gonna happen. Enemies are do a pretty good job of like locking on and tracking you down. Probably sees me from the side. get to one of those doors. There is still no elevator either. Oh no. More bad news, folks. The idea against these guys, you need a bait for them to do really his most dangerous attack. That one. You can also stomp on beasts to create mushrooms. So if he does his strongest attack, it's a massive damage. Strong enough, I can kill these guys in one heavy attack. A feeling when want these scratch medals. Mm. All right, there's the way up. There's one more mini-boss, from what I've heard. 
Alright. Please tell me there's an elevator here. Oh my goodness. I just want to get an elevator so we can save our progress. Now what? More guys have been unlocked. It's essentially tied to how far we're going up the tower. Don't want that. REM sleep? Oh, that could be useful, actually. You can also kind of repose an enemy if you time your block just right. Oh, you're dead, buddy. some space, just be on the safe side. <laughs> oh, it's you. Well, I've got some real professional quality items in today. Uh, nothing I really I see you know if I want, really. Wait a minute. See what the problem is, right, folks? This is one of those games where you're not going to get uh, anywhere real fast. Uh. Now what? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy it, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and of course share with your friends, it always helps out. For daily posts on all manner of game design and industry topics, check out game-wisdom.com. To support the site and everything that I do, be sure to check out the Patreon campaign. If we can hit goals, it will mean more content for everyone to enjoy, and I'll be able to support myself and my household. If you want to follow me, you can find me on Twitter at GWBicer for updates throughout the day and random thoughts from me. And lastly, you can find me on Twitch right over there at GW Bicer for daily streams most nights around 10 Eastern. 
Thanks again for watching the video, and be sure to check out more great content coming to the Game Wisdom channel real soon.